Hey y'all and welcome back to the channel. You know where it is, Dale Chanel Sport A Squirrel is the place to be, okay? Glad to join me this afternoon, this Saturday, beautiful afternoon. Just gonna get on to it. Just gonna get on into it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like all my videos, okay? Subscribe, like, subscribe, like, like, subscribe, like, subscribe, and share my videos. And share my videos across the nations of the social media platform. But let's get into today's hot topic. Celebrity Insider News broke it. Well, had they been broken? Everybody kind of knew about it, but I'm just getting around to telling y'all about it, okay? In my opinion, because you know I got one. I'm so opinionated these days, and it's on my platform, my social media platform, and only but only person that can give it to you the way I can spend it is me, okay? Globally is what I'm saying. But let's get on into this hot cup of tea. Whether I am dropping the tea, whether I am spilling the tea, okay, which most people like to be doing, spilling it, spilling it, spilling it, or if I'm just pouring it to you out loud, live, and in color, all right, we're giving you the tea, and it's hot, it's hot, I love it, I love it, it's drum feel, it's drum feel, and it's not really people I know, it's just people acting up on TV, so I'm like, okay, if they want to give it to me in loud, out loud, in color, then I got opinions to share with them if they care to hear them, okay? We're talking about none other than Miss Kenya Moore, yes, twirl, 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 twirling is her name, getting ladies together is her game. Twirling is her name. Getting bitches together, if you want to say it that way too, is her game. Twirl, 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 twirl. That's Kenya Moore, okay? Then we got the other contender in the ring. We got Marlo Hampton. Marlo, Marlo Hampton. Marlo. Yep, she's trending all in social media, and it's all about her wig party that she threw. Her or her weeds by her or something to that effect. Yes, fashion is Marlo's name and hoeing is her game. Fashion is her name and hoeing is her game. She don't care if you're Asian, you're Indian, you're Caucasian, you're Black, you're Russian, Swedish, Italian. Don't matter. Hey, hey, fashion is her name. Marlo Hampton. Hoeing is her game. Hey, get into it. Marlo, Marlo. Malo, 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 Hampton. Okay, that's my spiel. I just gave it to you. I felt like it, so I did it. All right, but basically, it's all about drama feel. When Marlo Hampton had her little weird part of trying to introduce it to the world, society at large, and Kenya going to come in with her own products, her own hair care products. I mean, it was the Marlo Hampton show, not the Kenya Moore Bring Your Products show. No, that's the hot tea I'm talking about. These are the receipts Marlo Hampton was draping, dropping, and presenting to us on this social media feed, okay? Yes, Marlo Hampton had receipts, and I'm giving y'all a little taste of it, and, and, and y'all kind of try to digest it all, and then we can get back into my commentary. So if you have to pause the video to kind of read it, go ahead and do so. But all of this took part. When they were taping, of course, they're filming. You know, they got to have drama, and it was all about the wig party, Kenya Moore. I don't know if she got it from the producers to bring her little uh, weed. I mean, not her hair, natural products or hair products in <laughs> to keep the mane straight and intact. All right. Don't know what it was. I mean, Marlo trying to ha uh, cover up your real hair in case you're too embarrassed to let you anybody see it or you're just too busy to get it together. Like most hairstylists, they can do hair out the wazooka. You know what I'm saying? Be on point, be on fleek, however y'all say it these days. And they can't even take care of their own hair. It's always in a ponytail or pinned up or balled up or whatever or got a hat on because they spend too much time trying to make others beautiful that they forget about themselves. So, yes, I understand, Marlo. Get that wig. Throw that wig on, honey. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. So, pretty much that what it, that's what it was. Marlo had her little show and Kenya Moore came in and showed out. All right. And then Marlo had to check up. <laughs> But I was so glad there wasn't no hands being put on each other. There was no hands involved. At least it was not shown on TV, okay, and not printed in the news, all right? So I can say that with a clear conscience. 
Mala was fussing with her mouth verbally, okay? And that's where the fuss fight comes in. I didn't want to put it on my little tagline that Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton get in a, get into a fight. I didn't want to do that because then it would have been like baiting, click baiting, right? So I wanted to give y'all reality of what I'm going to present to y'all. And it's up to you all to turn in, tune in, click that like button, and subscribe to my channel. I give that to you all to decide after my presentation, okay? And I hope and pray that you would definitely do that. Subscribe to my channel as well as like the button, okay? And share, share, share my videos. Share a like, okay? Let's support each other out there in these YouTube streets. But anyway, we're going to go on to see what Celebrity Insider wrote about this uh, mess, this debacleness of uh, women just not getting it together. Cat fighting. <laughs> Cat fighting, okay? <sighs> Uh, Mayo Walker is a uh, journalist who wrote up this article on Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton. Let's see what she had to say. She works for Insider, Celebrity Insider, that is. Okay, her title she gives us, Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton hurl insults at each other in new video as Candy Burris and Portia Williams watch on. Didn't want to highlight Candy, didn't want to highlight Portia because they're just like, how they say collateral damage they just on the sidelines looking at everything and taking somebody's side we don't know if they were for marlo we don't know if they was against marlo we don't know if they was for kenya or if they were against tornado twirl over there okay but they were just watching sipping and looking and was hoping nobody threw any blows okay because I was, I was pretty much doing the same thing please don't have no bowls throwing let's not throw the bowls okay that's not ladylike but anyway, having a little te technical difficulties right now, so bear with me. I lost the article. Uh, I guess I had it up for so long, it just wanted to go on and disappear. So give me a moment. A little technical difficulties right here, but we'll get it right back. We'll get it right back. Just enjoy the video uh, of the pictures I got for you all. And we'll see if we can just plug in this information and see where it takes us. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. No, we don't want that one. Do, 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 do. Oh, Lordy, have mercy. Can you more? Can you more? Fight with Can you more? Let's do it this way, guys, and see if I can bring it up another way. Celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. Lord have mercy. Okay. Can't seem to find it this way either. I am a tremendous bad host here. To where I'm going to try one more thing. And then I might have to just... Freestyle it like I normally do and give y'all my pun intended. I like to have somebody else's uh, point coming across as well when I'm trying to bring my own and see if we mesh together with the true tea of the day. Uh, Marlo Hampton. Kenya. More. Celebrity Insider. Kenya Moore shared a couple of texts in which she's showing off her beautiful face on social media. A lot of fans have praised her beauty, but others seem to believe that she's using something for bleaching her skin. They addressed the issue in the comment section. Oh, Lord. Someone told her you are beautiful. I don't click on some else. What well, they were saying, can your mom is trying to gorgeous. bleach her skin? Ooh, that's another one. That's another one we might have to cover, okay? That was in the Celebrity Insider, actually, YouTube uh, page. But that's not what I wanted here. That is not what I wanted to share. Maybe I can get it on my laptop. Let's see. Celebrity Insider Gossip. Uh, no, I don't want that. 
Okay, I think I've found it, guys. Thank you for bearing with me in that silence, but hopefully you truly enjoy the videos that I had printed up there for you. Not printed, but, you know, pasted up there for y'all to definitely get in touch with what I was trying to say. But as we mosey on along and go into this article that was written by, like I said, other than journalist Mel Harris, for the Celebrity Insider. Uh, she gives us some more popping news in her perspective, of course. Um, it says, Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton are definitely not in good relationships right now, as the two were recently recorded hurling insults at each other and grabbing the mic from each other during the lunch of Hampton's line of wigs. You know, that's I am her wig line. Y'all know it. Get into it. And I definitely showed y'all little clips of <laughs> them passing the mic uh, to one to each other. Like uh, somebody trying to drop a mic, some uh, insults, and everybody is taking part in it. The whole Real Housewives of Atlanta cast. Because even Nene was up in that flare. <laughs> and she was just like, ooh, 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 ooh. I don't know who. Y'all are. You know I don't like Kenya. But I'm just trying to see if Milo going to put hands on this girl. I'm about to bail her out. I hope not. Because I ain't got the money. I ain't got the money to sell. But they were really much much so passing the mic to one another. So I think it was in kind of jovial type form. Uh, fun relations, but, you know, Kenya more shouldn't have bought her products to model Hamptons event. I mean, I'll tack it. I'll tack it. But like I said, I'm pretty sure she got the okay to spill her drama in that way. And Bravo was like, well, hell, that's what we're here for, drama. So, yes, bring it. Just don't put hands on her, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, it was not known where the event took place. It was secret location, y'all, as it was kept a secret from the public. The issue started when Moore appeared with her own gift bags, promoting her own hair care products, taking advantage of the event to build her own publicity. Ain't that like Twirl? Ain't that like Twirl trying to take the thunder, the spotlight from somebody else? What's wrong with Kenya? I tell you, getting married, having a baby, just had to settle that woman down. Again, can we say Twirl? Twirl? Twirling is her name. Getting ladies together is her game. Getting bitches together is her game. And that's how Twirl goes. Twirl, and she's the only one that can get that back to the sun. Yes, that's Twirl. That's Twirl. That's Kenya Moore, honey. Get into it. But getting back to the article, it says, um, it actually shows a picture of Candy Burr's fan page. Somebody said, whoo, child, can you give out her more hair care products at Marlowe's? I am her wig soft lunch last night. You can hear Kenya telling everyone, grow your edges back. And Marlowe's saying, now tell me, does it help with the grays? <laughs> I was like, press on, press on, Miss Marlowe Hampton. Heck. To the no, 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 it don't. It will grow your hair. And if you're trying to live that natural lifestyle, like I do, and most women out there in Atlanta or the go of the world are doing them grays, girl, them grays. We can have a conversation, another whole video for those grays that just won't go away. Okay, I have the stubborn grays as well. Then it has like little crying emojis and uh, crying emojis, and they say Nene was also there earlier. This season is going to be lit. That was one of the followers that shared their opinion uh, on Candy Bird's fan page. So <laughs> that was the, hey, that was a, that was a laugh right there, okay? Because, you know, when you put them two together, can you always call the people whores and, and all this other third, uh, you know, this, that, and the third, and then Marlo dropping receipts and wanting somebody to explain they say us like Marlo said, you got some explaining to do, girl. You got some explaining to do. Because it don't add up. I dropped the receipts. Can you explain? <laughs> so, see, Marlo is not just the bone collector. She come on in with receipts, and she be like the IRS. She ready to collect. <laughs> collect everything that you want to tell her so she can... Cross-reference check it to see if it's panning out. Because she got many sources out there. I don't know why Marlo don't go into an investigation service. Because she definitely can clear up a lot of issues. 
a lot of issues that people want to know about. But getting back on to that article, it said many see her as intentionally provocative of provocating, uh, but also someone who cannot stand behind her own words as she frequently retreats in fear at the poking someone the wrong way. Yes, they talking about Kenya Moore because you know, Marlo Hampton is about that life. <laughs> she is about that life. She can stand in her own shit, whether she make it or she makes it appear. She can stand in it. Like, yes, I was the one that spread it. And my friends told me, or my resources told me this, that, and the third. And they right up in that click, hun. They got nothing to lie. And I can bring them on spot. Johnny on the spot. Jane on the spot on your behind. And they can come tell you in person. We ain't got to look at it on transcripts. We ain't got to look at it on, from my phone. We ain't got to have you listen to me tell it. I can bring you the words of who knows what they know they talking about because they experienced it. <laughs> okay? So I like my little honey. She bring it to you. She bring you the real honey. The real deal. Holy field. Yes. The female version. But anyway, going back to the article. It said more was escorted off the premises by security before things could get any worse. Before being booted out, Mark Daly's wife got an earful from Hampton. Honey, Marlo probably read her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet and then went back and did it again on her behind because, yes, Kenya Moore got thrown out. But could you expect anything less, anything more, okay? How tacky are you to come to somebody's event and sit there and bring your own uh, stuff to sell? <laughs> I mean, Margot Hampton is trying to cover it up for the head and make it look flawless. Kenya Moore trying to grow it and still make it look a hot mess, okay? It's other other avenues you have to take when you're dealing with the products that Kenya's trying to do. You still got to do a lot. You got to dye the person hair. Got to make sure you don't over-process it. All that kind of stuff. And Marlo just saying when your hair is fucked up, when your hair it just won't act right, your natural hair, you got to put some over top of it and still be fabulous. Go out there and do your own thing, okay? Don't let it take you to another level. Just get one of her wigs, okay? And you will be totally captivating. Okay, totally captivated and serving it up, just like she do on a daily basis. Getting back to the article, it said the incident drew a lot of negative attention to her, with many fans of the show criticizing her actions and expressing their disappointment. Still, others were more mixed in their responses, as it looks like Hampton is also enjoying some negative attention from Moore's fan. Honey, Marlo can handle everybody and anybody. It is not clear whether this will all end up Okay, it is not clear where this will all end up at this point. Although, as fans already know, drama, catfights, and shading are nothing out of the ordinary for the Bravo show, especially the Atlanta Housewives. And if you go on Marlo Hampton's profile on Instagram, you'll see all her lovely I am her or I am her wigs. Okay, yes. Another um, Marlo person chimed in on her Instagram. Or no, this is Marlo actually posting on her own Instagram account at this time. Well, she got 9,104 likes, okay? It says, I am so overwhelmed with joy for years. I've been wearing wigs by other brands, and today I launched my own Her Hair Collection. And what's even more special, I'm almost sold out of two styles, the Bang Bang and the Seductive, over 200 units per soul. Get yours now at herhair.com. There are seven versatile styles available. And hashtag I am her. Okay, man, she is the it factor, okay? She's the one uh, shining on these streets these days, okay? Forget what Kenya Moore talking about, okay? Kenya Moore just want to show up and think she's going to show out on me. But I just dropped her, dropped her in the bucket and told her, please escort. <laughs> please escort her out, Okay. So, we go back to the article. It says a supporter said this. Yes, congratulations. Someone was thirsty bringing her products to your lunch. Distasteful. How you can not see that woman is messy, begging and tired, waste to bring her own tired products to, walk, uh, to Marlo's wig lunches beyond me. That was a, a fan of Marlo's. Also went on and said, one fan had this reaction. Thirsty. Question marks. Girl, bye. She got the peach and the man and the most beautiful and happy baby. The show was a snooze fest without her. Facts. 
Okay, that was somebody for Kenya Moore. This other last comment, it said, this person stated, laugh out loud. This is what fan shade is all about. Good moments and great TV. Keep them coming, girl. Love your posts. This could mean more ratings for Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise show. And I agree. I totally agree. Bring the drama. Bring the no-nonsense mess. And bring it. How they are so lovely. They're pretty women. You know, they're trying to do the right thing. But, you know, people don't want to really necessarily see you do the right thing, walk the right line, and still make money. Okay? It's not going to happen. That's in reality, drama-filled TV. That's what most of us want. That's what most of us say we need. <laughs> and doggone it, that's what they going to give to us. If we like it, if we don't like it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's just the soul of the seed that is being sown in drama field reality TV showing today. Okay, but like I said, they got two strong contenders in the ring, boxing it out. Marlo Hampton on one side, who is fashion is her name, and who it is her guy. She don't care what man she messed with, as long as he got money, 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 oh, money. Okay, and then you got a uh, second contender, turn out there, twirling. Is her name and getting the ladies together is her game. That's Kenya Moore, honey. That's Kenya Moore. Nobody can do it like her. Moore style. Okay. So that's all I have for this video. It was pretty funny. It was fun to um, listen to the comments. Not listen to the comments. I'm sorry. But reading the comments as well as reading the commentary that this lady had um, called herself putting up for her company she works for, which is Celebrity Inside. I think her name was Mel Harris. Let's give kudos to her and look for more great commentary. All this written up from her on The Real Housewives of Atlanta or any pretty much any other reality show they may follow or reality celebrity or celebrity out there in the entertainment industry. But y'all got more to bring y'all. Sit tight, relax, get your uh, beverages, your snacks together, and look for more great videos coming from none other than Deb Chanel's 48th World. Peace and blessings, and I'll see you next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.